Hello, my name is Joseph Y. Lee. I'm doing a presentation on the piece by simulation of a voltaic PN junction of a solar cell. Basically, before I do a piece by simulation presentation, I am going to review some device physics and some electrical engineering concept. Here is a uh, a, I'm going to review Kirchhoff current law. That is, current goes in. The current that goes in equals the current goes out. So when you add and subtract the current source I1 and I2, you basically subtract each other, which is I1 and minus I2. And the voltage open circuit right here is basically the voltage drop of the voltage current source on 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 the left right here. So how do we exactly model a photovoltaic uh, uh, PN junction of a solar cell? How do we model it? Basically, we can model it with a current source and a diode on this diagram on, on the bottom. And this current source basically is a current uh, generated from the electron and hole generation and recombination due to solar light. But notice that this photovoltaic uh, schematic diagram is similar to the concept that we discussed in the review of EEC 70A, which is. Uh, the voltage current, the ver I mean Kirchhoff current law of I1 minus I2. So the current that goes through this resistor, which could be a solar calculator for example, will be the current light generation of the electron and hole, holes regeneration and combination minus the diode current right here. And you can think of this diode current as dark current of a solar cell. So what is current short circuit? Basically, you have a short between one end of the PN junction with the other end of the PN junction, which is ground. So what do you think of is the voltage drop of a short? Yeah, the voltage drop of a short is zero. So if the voltage drop of a short is zero, what is the voltage drop of the PN junction? It's also zero. If the voltage drop of a PN junction diode is zero, what is the diode current? The diode current will be also zero because when the voltage drop of a diode is zero, the diode is not turned on. So the short current short circuit is basically the current from the current generator due to the recombination and generation of the holes and electron due to light, which is I short circuit equals I elimination. So what is voltage open circuit? Well, before you jump to the conclusion that this is a schematic diagram of a voltaic cell. I just want to say that this is not a schematic diagram of a voltaic cell. I just borrowed that concept from an EEC 78 textbook and to it's meant as a review of what open circuit voltage voltage open circuit is and basically the voltage open circuit is basically the voltage of a voltage source. So in this solar cell we have an open circuit right here meaning there is no short, there is no, nothing connected to the solar cell. So what do you think VOC will equal? Well if we know the voltage, well basically VOC will be the same voltage drop in the diode. So what is 
the normal value of VOC. It will be approximately, just I said approximately, between 0 0.5 volt to 0 0.7 volt, which is the voltage required to turn on the diode. So VOC will be approximately 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 volt. And here are the IV curves. Basically, um, this is the first diagram here is basically the dark current or the diode current of a PN junction. And when light is shining on the solar cell, this happened. Maybe the second diagram will be a situation where you had a really cloudy day in the city of Irvine. And you have some negative current generated in the bottom of this curve. And, and if you add the light current source and subtract by the diode current source, or the dark current, we have this uh, small current going down from top to bottom. And, and the third diagram right here will be a situation when you have a real sunny day in the Mojave Desert. And you have really strong light current generation. And you have a, a large current generation that goes through this um, through this uh, uh, device of a solar cell, and basically the force diagram. You just basically flip the diagram of the third diagram, and by having a negative current of the third, so it's basically you just flip the negative signs from the third to the fourth diagram, and you have this. IV curve of a solar cell. But if you don't understand that, if you don't understand the physics, if you don't understand the physics of, of if, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, um, we can think of this diode current right here, or the dark current, we can think of this diode current as the dark current. And the current elimination due to the recombination generation of the holes and electrons due to elimination of light. And you add the dark current with the light and illumination using the super principle, superposition principle. And we get this curve on the right. And here is a... Now we're going to discuss some piece bias. And basically this piece bias is a um, the voltage current source due to the generation of the electron holes called GERAD, GERAD this voltage cur control current source and this diode and we have three nodes the 300 node the 301 node and 302 node and we define the nodes 300, 301, 302 from the schematic diagram. And these are the parameters. Parameters area set to 1. Uh, the the J0 current initial to 1. And the short circuit set to 1. And we have this uh, voltage current, voltage control current source to be this. But note that this node right here, V302, is really not a voltage node. It's more like a wattage per area square meter node. Uh, the irradiance of light times area. And this is the diode equation where it, the diode 301 and 300 of a diode. And the dial is basically defined by the uh, J0 current times the area. And this is the library file. And this is the voltage controlled current source. It's not really a voltage controlled current source. It's more like a power per given area current source. The reason why the author described from the reference I use as a voltage co controlled current source, this is my guess, is that nobody heard of a wattage per 
per area control current source. So the author just says it's a voltage current source and define the letter G A as a voltage when it's really is a um, wattage per area uh, a wattage per area um, variable. And J S C right here is the J current of short circuit and A is the area of a solar cell and G is really the irradiance of light, solar light. But it's not really uh, it's not really a voltage per se. It's more like wattage per area unit. And here is my piece by simulation. And here I evoke the library from my previous file. And I define the node 300 as ground, I define it as ground, and I define the V bias as ground, and I have a DC bias right here. And, but please note, the voltage Vrad is set at 1000 wattage per meter square. This is a constant wattage value and here is uh, the DC bias is set from 0 to 0 0.6 at an interval of one hundredth a, of a volt and then we probe this DC voltage current analysis we just probe it and basically um, this uh, library file is used in this uh, piece by file. Uh, you can think of a library file as a uh, subroutine in a Fortran program. You, know, you can think of a library as a subroutine or, or a function in a Fortran program or C, or C program. And basically this piece by file at the bottom basically borrowed the library so you need both files to make this work. So why don't we define the GERAD as GS short, short circuit times area. Basically if you look at the piece by simulation you define the G, the G value as 1000. It's constant 1000. But if you look at this equation, if you know that G is set to be 1000, it's basically G short circuit times A. So why did the author have this G short circuit A times divided by 1000 times G when G short circuit times A would be enough to do this piece by simulation? And the reason why G, you have a G variable right here, is that G depends on the amount of light you have. Light is not always set at 1000 watt per meter square. A cloudy day in Irvine will be around 700 while the wattage per area, the amount of sunlight in the Mojave Desert will be 1200 for example. So 1000 is the average amount of energy per given area. The amount of power per given area in a normal sunny day in the world. That's why we have this variable G divided by 1000. And when you do this piece by simulation, hey, this is what short circuit is. Uh, when the voltage by, when you have a short circuit right here, you have a current of 4.3867 ampere. And when you have an open circuit, you have a voltage open circuit of 0 0.446 volt. And this is what open circuit and short circuit really means in piece splice. And this is a diagram of a simulation. And this is my references. And my father, Dr. Ilhan Lee, has helped me with this presentation. And thank you. That concludes my presentation.